In this video, we'll be working through question 5.1 of MathLit paper 1, November 21. If you would like to download a copy of this question paper, the link is in the description below. Question 5.1. Marius, who is a 65-year-old, earned an annual taxable income of 551,762 Rand for the 2019-2020 tax year. During the 2019-2020 tax year, Marius was not a member of any medical aid fund. Table 7 below shows the tax table for 2019-2020 tax year. Table 7 is divided into three columns. In the first column, we have a list of tax brackets. The second column lists the taxable income range for each tax bracket. And the third column lists the rates of tax in rand for each tax bracket. Table 8 below shows the tax rebates and medical credits for the 2019-2020 tax year. In Table 8, the tax rebate is divided into two columns and three rows. The first row lists the primary rebate for people younger than 65 years. The second row lists the secondary rebate for people 65 years and older. And the third row lists the tertiary rebate for people 75 years and older. The medical credits per month for medical fund members is also divided into two columns and three rows. The first row lists the main member's credit, the second row lists the first dependent's credit, and the third row lists each additional dependent's credit. We are instructed to use table 7 and table 8 above to answer the questions that follow. 5.1.1 Identify which tax bracket Marius falls in based on his taxable income. From table 7 and based on his taxable income, Marius falls in the fourth tax bracket. Other answers that are also considered to be correct are tax bracket 423,301 to 555,600 or 100,263 plus 36% of taxable income above 423,300. 5.1.2 Calculate the amount of tax Marias must pay for the 2019-2020 tax year. From Table 7, the tax rate for tax bracket 4 is 100,263 plus 36% of taxable income above 423,300. We know that Marius earned 551,762 Rand. So the taxable income above 423,300 Rand is equal to 551,762 Rand minus 423,300 Rand. And this gives us a value of 128,462 Rand. Substituting this value into the tax rate equation, we get the income tax equal to 100,263 plus 36 over 100 multiplied by 128,462. And this gives us an income tax of 146,509 rand and 32 cents. Now from table 8 we see that Marius falls into the primary tax rebate bracket because he is under the age of 65 years. So the amount of tax Marius must pay for 2019-2020 tax year is equal to 146,509 rand and 32 cents minus 14,220 rand and this gives us a tax amount of 132,289 rand and 32 cents. 5.1.3 Maria stated that if he had been one year older, he would have saved more than 600 rand monthly on his taxes paid during the 2019-2020 tax year. Verify showing all calculation whether his statement is correct. From question 5.1.2, as a 64-year-old, his annual tax was 132,289 rand and 32 cents. So his monthly tax obligation should be 132,289 rand 32 cents divided by 12 months of the year. This will give us a monthly tax obligation of 11,024 rand and 11 cents per month.
Now, if Marius was one year older, he would be 65 years old, and this means that he would qualify for a primary and secondary tax rebate. So, from Table 8, we see that the secondary rebate amounts to 7,794 rand per year. Subtracting this amount from the final answer in 5.1.2, we get an annual tax amount equal to 132,289 rand 32 cents minus 7,794 rand and this equals 124,495 rand and 32 cents. Now his monthly tax obligation would be 124,495 rand and 32 cents divided by 12 months in a year. And this gives us a monthly tax amount of 10,374 rand and 61 cents. Now if Marius was one year older than 64 years, he would have saved a difference of 11,024 rand 11 cents minus 10,374 rand and 61 cents and this gives us a savings of 649 rand and 50 cents. We see now that this monthly tax savings of 649 rand and 50 cents is more than 600 rand so his statement is correct. 5.1.4 Marius is considering joining a medical fund. He plans to include his wife and two grandchildren. Determine the total monthly medical credits he would qualify for if he joined a medical fund. From Table 8, Marius will get the following medical credits. As a main member himself, his wife as his first dependent, and his two grandchildren as his two additional dependents. So his total monthly medical credits will be equal to 310 rand plus 310 rand plus 209 rand multiplied by 2 and this gives us a value of 1038 rand per month. And that's going to be it for question 5.1. If you found this video helpful and you would like to learn more, you can check out this video next.